Hello folks, hope you're all well. Got a video for all the new drummers out there today. So you've got some sticks, maybe you've even got a drum kit, or if you watched my last drum video, you've raided your cupboards and built your own. Good on you. Well, what now? The first thing that I think you need to do is to learn the basic coordination you need for playing drums. And the best way to do that is get cracking on a few simple beats. Ultimately, the reason we learn any instrument is to play music. Maybe you've got a few songs you want to play along to or you want to play with your friends in a band. You'll be pleased to hear that the beats I'm going to show you today are literally everywhere in popular music, from the Beatles to Billie Eilish. In the early stages of playing drums, I think it's equally important to learn the musical context of what you're playing as much as it is how to play it. In drums, that means counting. One, two, three, four. And if you take a drum lesson or watch a YouTube video lesson, you'll probably also hear one and two and three and four and. But what on earth are the ands? Well, they're the beats in between the beat. And we use them when we count quavers, or if you're American, eighth notes. Here's the thing. I'm going to suggest to begin with, you forget all about that. Yep, that's right. I've been teaching drums for 15 years and while it's obviously important to understand that and to know how to count like that, I've found that most new drummers find it easier to get started using a slightly different method. I should add that this is not my method. There's a great British drummer and drum teacher called Colin Woolway. Shout out Colin. And in his method, we count the individual eighth notes on the hi-hat up to eight. We're actually still going to use the ands eventually and they end up being much more useful to us when we use this method, particularly when we start to talk about independence, which I'll cover in another video. Once we've got our hi-hat eight count happening, we then assign each part of the drum kit to the number that it needs to be on in order to build our first beat. Let's start with the snare. We're going to put that on three and seven. Get comfortable with that, then let's move on to the bass drum. We're going to put that on number one, and if you can, number five. If you're struggling, just play number one for now. At this point, you should practice the hi-hat and the snare, and the hi-hat and the bass individually. Then, it's time to put the whole thing together. Get comfortable with that, get it nice and steady. The main thing to remember here is that we are not looking for speed. At this point, you want your beat to be super solid and in time. Once you're happy with that, you can start exploring other beats by simply moving the bass drum around. In other words, putting it on different numbers. We're going to keep our bass drums on one and five and add a further bass drum on number six. Let's have a listen to what that sounds like. If you're cool with that, let's try adding a bass drum on number four instead of number six. So you've got bases on one, four, and five. Finally, and this is a tricky one, let's hear how it sounds when we put bases on one, four, and six. Remember that the snare stays on three and seven throughout all of these examples. Mm -hmm. 
So there we go. You've got your three basic beats and you can play a heck of a lot of songs with them. The key is to practice them slowly and to practice each beat individually so you can make sure you've got all the elements in the correct place. Finally, in preparation for part two of this series, what I'd like you to be able to do is to play one or all of these grooves three times through without stopping. This will give us three bars of music. And what are we gonna do with the fourth bar? Yep, that's right, the bit you've been waiting for, we're gonna put a fill in it. Okay, maybe we won't learn that one straight away. It'll probably be something more like this. Thanks for watching. Please check back for part two, which is coming very soon. Have some fun with these grooves and keep playing. Do you think that was okay? Like was it, it was not too boring? Do you need a bit more?